perfect. Okay, Allah will be the one who is 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 the اللهم اجعل أعمالنا خالصة لوجهك ولا تجعل فيها حظا لغيرك وصل اللهم على سيدنا ونبينا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته once again um, well I was here the whole time really so I hope you guys are all doing well uh, we now move on to من كسر الأصنام إن شاء الله we uh let me just check quickly we completed up until page number 24 is that correct and we had page number 25 for homework you guys are i made you guys able to unmute yourself so you can uh, unmute yourself to respond and you can also use the chat if you want to That's correct. Page number. We can't unmute, unfortunately. Now you can. Sorry, I did the opposite. Alaikum Malana. Alaikum Salaam. That's correct. Page number 20. Page number 24. Did we go through page 24 yet? Did we mark it? I don't think so. Okay. Then let's do that, inshallah. So we're no, busy no, with this. for the holiday next week. Run. Oh, I don't give that. I just inform you of it. <laughs> but anyways, we, uh, yeah, page number, we were busy with this chapter, Amam al-Malik, when Ibrahim alayhi salam, um, he was standing in front of the king that was questioning him. I think let's just read this whole chapter, but I'll just translate the last page. We read it just for revision and context. Right? You can read it with me um, so that you can practice articulation, yeah, that you're saying things right, etc. And try and recall while you're reading it, try and think about what it means as well. So let's go, Bismillah. Amam al Maliki. Wa kana fil baladi Malikun kabirun jiddan wa zalimun jiddan. Wa kana al nasu yasjudun lil Maliki. وسمع الملك أن إبراهيم يسجد لله ويا ولا يسجد لأحد. What is أمامه؟ أمامه is in front of. So أمام الملك in front of the king. Okay. Line number four. فغضب الملك وطلب إبراهيم. Sorry. فغضب الملك وطلب إبراهيم. Makes a big difference. وجاء إبراهيم وكان إبراهيم لا يخاف أحدا إلا الله قال الملك من ربك يا إبراهيم قال إبراهيم ربي الله قال الملك من الله يا إبراهيم قال إبراهيم الذي يحيي ويميت قال الملك أنا أحيي وأميت ودع الملك رجلا وقاتله ودع رجلا آخر وتركه وقال أنا أحيي وأميت قتلت رجلا وتركت رجلا وكان الملك بليدا جدا وكذلك كل مشرك This is where we're supposed to start translating So um, Okay, I'll translate this وكان الملك بليدا جدا and the king was very stupid I don't know what translation do you have for stupid I was going to say for, for بليد I was maybe daft foolish well, okay foolish that sounds, sounds a little bit more decent 
But yeah, Balid is like stupid. وكان الملك بليدا جدا. The king was very foolish. وكذلك كل مشرك and so too was every polytheist. وأراد إبراهيم أن يفهم الملك ويفهم قومه. Mark Maulana, I'm for the previous one. Uh, how did you translate that? The second part? And so too was every. وكذلك وكذلك let him is like that. Okay. Ka, okay. like ذلك that. Um, okay. But like I said, I mean, you have a little bit of of a translator's license over here. As long as it conveys the same meaning, that's why I think I said so too. Yeah, because I, I know it's translated as like, but I, I knew what, what was meant. Yeah. Like it's that? Like and also. Mm. Yeah. And also like right. that, so too. It must just convey that meaning. Similarly, okay. thus, all of those can work. Okay. Right? وأراد إبراهيم أن يفهم الملك ويفهم قومه وأراد إبراهيم أن إبراهيم wanted أن يفهم الملك he wanted that the king understand and his people understand or he wanted that the king understand and his people understand as well I could translate it better but it might make you confused any questions there? Well, I'm a bit confused on the on the on the first part there. Wa'arada, that the form of the verb I don't fully understand. Okay, there's two reasons for that. Um, the one is that's the fourth verb form that we haven't yet learned, as far as I know, right? The guys haven't yet covered the fifth the fourth verb form. Afala yufailu. That's number no. one and. And the second reason is because that verb has a weak letter in it. Oh, um, yes, yes. So, but um, for now, just trust me, the verb is arada, yuridu, and it means to want or will. Right? Malana, um, what is, the, what is the, the, the root letters? So I can look in the dictionary. Um, arada, w it'll be ra, ra, and I think wow and dal. Wow, wow, and that. Uh, okay, check on. You know, there's such a common word, and I never ever checked it out. Astaghfirullah. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, I think it means uh, wow, and and then uh, that is. So even if the if the if the light letter or the weak letter rather is in the middle of the word, it will fall away. No, it's not falling away over here. Okay. It just changed to alif. Oh. Can you see that? Okay. Eh? But what but happens is, uh, oftentimes, which one of the, like the weak letters, we almost like interchange between them, depending on the harakah that comes before it. So the oh. harakah that, that accords with the ah is the alif, so, it's, so it makes the ah sound. And that's why the present tense is, let me write it for you. Arada, that doesn't look so nice. It's like looking even worse. Arada, right? The present tense, what I said was? You need to, you can see here yeah, it's alif. The root letter is actually a wow, right? But here yeah, it's alif and here yeah, it's a yeah. Why? I just accord with the haraka that's before it. The one that goes with the alif is, or oh, the one that goes with the ah is alif. The one that goes with the e is yeah. See that? Yes, um, okay. That makes sense for Lana. Shukran for explaining that. Yeah. But um, okay. don't worry about that. Week later, inshallah, we'll, we'll, maybe we'll do it formally. Or maybe yeah, we'll never okay. do it, but you'll just get it, inshallah. <laughs> okay, shukran, Mulana. Okay. Mulana? Yes? So I did check for the translation for this uh, sentence, um, Ibrahim wanted to make the king understand. Will that work? 
Um, not exactly. Because I had N as two, but I see you put that. Um, yeah. I just wasn't clear. Uh, why? Why it wouldn't work? Because you see, then you're changing Fahima, Yafhamu, which means to understand. You're changing it to make someone understand. There is a other verb form for that, and that would be Yuf. Uh, sorry. Yuf himu or yuf hima. It would have actually been a yuf hima, but here we have a yaf hama. So therefore, I cannot and translate it like that. Rather, I might just translate the an as as that for it to sound more palatable. Okay. Um, right? So an just keep it in your in 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 in, in your vocabulary that an can mean that or two. Why why is that the case? And then this is actually the question that I thought maybe asked about that an and about the yafhama. Like which bab is yafhama on? Isn't it supposed to be yafhamu? Yes, yes, Malala, because it's a u at the end, yes, yafhamu. It's supposed to be fahima yafhamu. Yes. But here we have yafhama. So what's happening here? It's this little harf before it, an. That changes it to have a fatha. A yafhama. But it's supposed to be yafhamu. Now, what does that an do? That an. That an is what we call a an masdariya. A an masdariya. What it does is. It you. I think you mentioned this before, Mulan. Uh, I think on page 10, we had a similar. A similar, yeah, I, sim I, I do, similar. I do remember it, yeah, but um, yeah, I thought it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't uh -huh. harm you. Yes, um, yes, yes. To, to, no, I can to, see now the, 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 the correlation. Okay, I'm going to get to that question now. But so, so just first, let's deal with this an, right? The an, it changes the present tense verb after it. To have a fatha at the end, or if it has a noon there for that noon to drop away, right? Like on yafaluna will just become yafalu, or if it was yansurina, then it will just become yansuri. If there's a noon attached at the end, it will fall away, or if it doesn't have anything at the end, like yafhamu will become yafhama, or if it's like a like afalu, it will become afala if that an is before. Well, and that's a general and that's a general rule, so whenever that's you see the an. Okay, so there's no there's no conditions to it. Okay, and before before present tense verb, right? Not before past tense verb. That's the one thing, right? And then there's the second thing is this: it changes the meaning to the meaning of the verbal noun. So instead of translating it or understanding it now as a verb, though it looks like a verb, yafhama looks like a verb. It's a verb. It's actually a verb form. But we understand it to have the meaning of the masdar or the verbal noun. Like instead of saying he is understanding, we're just gonna we just want it to mean to understand. So you can also translate this as Ibrahim wanted the king to understand and his people to understand. That's another that's a, another translation for the same thing. But then it also sounds like a verb. It's going to be super hard to translate it into English with conveying that. But um, essentially, that's what it does. It, con it changes the meaning of the verb to the meaning of the verbal noun. Um, okay. What does Molina mean? Or what do I mean when I say, on what verb is the verb on? Okay. That question is confusing to you now because. You only learnt one bab. And there are 10, oh, actually there's like 15 babs, but we, we just to cover 10. Others are very rare. Um, different, different, a bab would be like a different verb form. So you learnt the verb form fa'ala and yafa'alu, and then you learnt different changes to that. 
how you can make it passive fu'ila and yuf'alu I can change it into a command if'al and a prohibition la taf'al and you learned how you can get a, a master from that fa'ala and you learned um, how you can get certain nouns from that the ismul fa'il which is fa'il or the ismul maf'ul which is maf'ul the, the active particle and the passive particle now usually we call that one scale so we summarize it like this fa'ala yaf'alu fa'ala fa'ilun um, and then fu'ila yuf'alu fa'ala uh, maf'ulun if'al and la taf'al that's a summary of a scale and then you can thrash that whole thing out to go down each of those scales so we'll like summarize that horizontally and then you can go vertically as well fa'ala the fa'ala word can form a new scale fa'ala fa'ala or fa'ala fa'alu fa'alat fa'alna fa'alta fa'altum fa'alti fa'altumna fa'altu fa'alna and then the same can be done for the next word ya fa'alu you can go down a whole scale and so for all of the others now there are 10 such scales that we usually cover in the course but you'll cover them in due time we call each of them a bab but don't worry about that I shouldn't have said it. You'll cover it in due time, inshallah. I think it's just a habit now that I've been doing this for a long time. But inshallah, in due time, you'll cover the, you'll learn the babs and you'll see how easy it is also. And uh, and inshallah, then it won't confuse you. But for now, don't worry about it. So, وَأَرَادَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ أَيَّفْهَمَ الْمَلِكُ Ibrahim wanted that the king understand, or he wanted, if I translate with the, with the, the file first, he wanted the king to understand, you can do that as well. وَيَفْهَمَ قَوْمَهُ And his people to understand. Why am I translating this the same like this? Because number one, I can see there's a wa. So it's, it's showing that me, showing that this is added to a list. And I'm understanding the an over here as well because I can see that that one also has that fatha. So instead so that's why it's, I'm just saying you wanted I could even say you wanted the king and his people to understand right if anybody has any difficulty with that or wants to ask is my translation all right or whatever you can go ahead but I'm going to carry on to the next line for now line 15 فَقَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ لِلْمَلِكِ so Ibrahim said to the king. فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يَأْتِي بِالشَّمْسِ مِنَ الْمَشْرِقِ And then line 16, فَأْتِي بِهَا مِنَ الْمَغْرِقِ So Ibrahim said to the king, certainly Allah brings the sun, brings the sun مِنَ الْمَشْرِقِ from the east, فَأْتِي بِهَا مِنَ الْمَغْرِبِ So bring it from the, from the west. Question? <laughs> This one, what is, why did it say Bishamsi? What is that word there? Okay. I wasn't sure. Good question. The, this verb here, Ata Yati, means to come. It means to come. But when it's used with this harf B, right, when the two of these come together, or the, uh, the maf'ul, is preceded with a B, then it means to bring. Okay. Because so at first came, I thought it was B, like, a, like by or with, but then it's ba at leaf. No, that alif, that alif, uh, that alif is part of the word ashams. Yes, yeah, so I was, I, I was thinking B is like, by or with, I think that's how we usually translate it. You can if you want to translate it literally. So, indeed, Allah comes with the sun, but bring would be a better translation. Like, I think it, it would have the meaning there of musahaba or yeah, something like that. He brings, he, he comes with the, with the sun, but that's not, it's gonna, it's gonna sound clumsy and not convey the true meaning. Indeed, Allah brings the sun. So, here's a tip for you. Some verbs, right? Some verbs 
are just coupled with certain huruf, and then they convey uh, certain other meanings. For example, uh, if I say, if I say, tab, and I think I give this example all the time. If I say taba yatubu from tauba, if I say taba ila, then that means to seek forgiveness or to repent. If I say taba ala, then it means to forgive or accept repentance. What changed? Only the harf that it was used with. Um, Oh, no, but that makes sense if we translate it uh, yes. directly because Ila is two and then Ala was I think a pawn. So forgive a okay. pawn is like forgiving and then that's what okay. forgive too doesn't there's other that. there's other such verbs if I if I take uh, um if I take you can do it with the with the verb amana amana la and amana bi they have different meanings. I can do it with the word raghiba fi, raghiba an. They have different meanings, and you can check those meanings in the dictionary. What I'm simply saying is that I can tell, I can give you examples in the Quran where it's used with one harf, but just because that harf was used, you can have like three different meanings. Okay. And you can understand it all. So what I'm saying is basically in Arabic. Certain root letters are just used with certain huruf and they convey a specific meaning in that context, right? Um, and this ba, it's, it's not like it's, a, it's, a, it's just a random thing, no. There's a reason why a ba is used because ba has different meanings. Ba has the meaning of musahaba, mulabasa, a number of different other, a number of different other meanings. But yeah, the, the effect of it, and I don't want to go into now all of that because that's like going to get into some deep now. That's really going to throw you off at, at the beginning. Potentially, it's going to throw people off in the class. Just to understand it. When atta is used with b, it means to bring. When it's not used with b, then it just means to come. Right? So, فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يَأْتِي بِالشَّمْسِ Indeed, Allah, because I see there's a b on the shams, I know it's to bring. Indeed, Allah brings the sun, مِنَ المشرق, from the east, فَأْتِي that's an amr, and we had this before. So, bring, so bring it min al maghrib from the west. Line number seventeen. Fatahiyar al maliku wa sakata. So the king, tahiyar, became confused, wa sakata, and he became silent. Wa khajil al maliku wa ma wajada jawaban. And the king was dumbfounded. Wama wajada jawaban, and he did not find a response. Any questions there? That and the king was dumbfounded or embarrassed rather. Wama wajada jawaban, and he did not find a response. He had no response to Ibrahim alayhi salam. Okay. Next chapter, chapter number eleven. What we'll do now is, inshallah, let's break away into our into our uh, breakaway groups, and you just do this page number twenty-five, some short lines in there, and then perhaps we'll have a bit more time with our Quran segment today, inshallah. So, as normal, read the sentences, translate, and discuss any strange things that you find or any constructions that you know um, in your group inshallah and in so doing we help each other learn and so Allah will help us it was 25 homework that's what I asked earlier so did we I think 25 was homework Malana. yeah yeah I also think so 25 must have been homework yeah so Let's just, uh, oh, is it homework? So that means you mustn't do that in the groups. So that means we must go over that now. So let's do page number 25 and do that. With page. You can do page 26 in the groups. Let's do that again. Da'watul walid. The invitation or, yeah, the invitation of the father. Or rather, I can translate it also as calling the father. 
line one wa arada ibrahimu ay yad'u wa walidahu aydan fa qala lahu and ibrahim wanted to call an i'm translating as to call walidahu his father aydan also and ibrahim wanted to call his father also call his father as well fa qala lahu so he said to him you can say call or invite you can use either ya abati oh my beloved father lima ta'budu ma la yasma'u wa la yubsiru ya abati oh my beloved father lima why ta'budu do you worship ma la yasma'u that which does not hear wa la yubsiru and does not see So there you can see a, maybe a new word, Abati, my beloved father, as opposed to Abi, which is just my father. Number three, Walima ta'abudu ma la yanfa'u wa la yadurru. And why do you worship ma la yanfa'u, that which does not benefit, wa la yadurru, and does not harm? Ya Abati, la ta'abudi shaytan, O my beloved father. Do not worship Shaitan. Shaitan. Ya Abati, Abudir Rahman. Oh, you can just read it. Ya Abati, Abudur Rahman. Oh, my beloved Father, worship the Most Merciful. What's page number twenty-six or something? No more. No. Okay. So, if there's no questions on the previous page, then. Well, let's break into our groups and do page number 26. Uh, you guys know what to do. Read, translate, discuss any uh, grammar question or solve questions from what you've already learned. Inshallah. Right, can we break away? Sure. Well, no, I have a quick question before I go. Can I ask it quickly before I? Sure. Um, for number two and three, what were the doers of those verbs? Yasima'u. And so it's, oh, my father, why do you worship that which cannot hear? Yes, that's how you translate it. So you, you tell confused. me what, what, what do you think it was? I I was inserting a ye into the sentence because it was like yasma or the basic form of the verb. Samia yasma or ye. That's exactly it. That's that's but then it doesn't make sense. The translation, oh my father, why do you worship? Is it like you cannot hear? No, it's it's a bit more general than that. So this is how it works. Look here. You have your verb, la yasma'u, right? So now I'm looking for the fa'il. Apply ili. There's nothing at the end of the verb. There's nothing yeah. to the left of it, so it must be inside. inside What's yeah. inside here? Hua. Oh. Right. But now, what does this hua refer to? It must refer to something before. It refers to the that which. It refers to the that you which, know. and that's how you basically confirm conclude oh my beloved father why do you worship that which it does not mm. that which that which what that which it doesn't hear and it doesn't see the it is just okay. referring to that which is just qualifying this and there, that's why you also don't have to translate it in fact it's better if you don't translate it because it's mm. just qualifying the ma but if you do it directly that doesn't really make sense. That it sounds different. Yeah, it's totally different meaning if I, the way I translated it. Um, so I translated it as, Oh, my beloved father, why do you worship Ma that which La Yasma'u he cannot hear? It doesn't make sense. But, but, but now you see, you, you see, what you, how you're translating it is you're translating that Ma as the Maf'ul. Mm, what you yeah. basically saying is that which doesn't hear it. So yeah, 
you must understand that this, this huaya is the fa'il and it's referring to this. This thing here is the fa'il. That's not the mafu. Right? If, you, if you're going to translate it like that, you're going to get, you're going to say, that which he doesn't hear, then he doesn't hear it. Yeah. And so you're adding a maf'ul in there, but there's no maf'ul. Hmm. So it's the hua inside, but the hua is playing the role of the fa'il, not the maf'ul. And then secondly, can ma also be negation? Ma is used for negation before past tense verb, yes. And sometimes before present tense, but not here. Yeah, because... You must look at the context. Yeah, you must because look at the context. Also, we already we already have a part we already have a particle of, of negation. Yeah. Can't be double. Yeah, can't be double number one. And number two, you must know that ma has a number of different meanings. And the meaning of negation is usually before past tense verb, not present tense. Okay. All right. That was also what confusing. I remember both meanings, but then firstly I translated that's not, but then I saw the la. And then that threw me off, so then I changed to that to itch. Okay, perfect. That is correct. Okay, I'm gonna join my group. Shukran, Mandana. All right, have fun.